So we're all trying to find different ways to stay busy during the quarantine. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do was I wanted to try to build uh, an airplane from things completely only find, found around my house. Never wanted to buy anything, anything from Amazon or anything. Um, and I thought I could do it because my house is a little different. I have uh, a lot of stuff from, from drone. I was in the drone industry for a little bit, so I had a lot of propellers, had a lot of the controllers, had a lot of the transmitters, the receivers, and I uh, had basically everything needed to, to, to make you know an airplane. Uh, but I had never flown an airplane. A couple of years ago, was in the Pittsburgh Fluentag, came in sixth out of a whole bunch of uh, other teams, so we did pretty good. Uh, I by, was not the smartest person on that team. A lot of smarter people, all I was was the muscle putting things together, but we learned a lot about airframes and, and how to do it. So that's why I thought I could do it from just, you know, a couple of, you know, PVC pipes and sticks and stuff I found around the house. Uh, one of the cool things was I had a chance to work with uh, a, a company called Vusix that makes smart glasses uh, that will let you, you know, kind of do a lot of this first person filming while you, uh, our hands are still free and also where there's apps built into it where you can ask Google questions as they come up. Okay, Google, what's the weather today in Wexford? You can pull up YouTubes as you uh, need to find out how to do something, like the center of gravity of it. It's really good for, for what I'm gonna do here, but the process started with, you know, kind of getting the airframe, building wings out, building the control surfaces, you know, with some of the servos I had, you know, getting a motor and prop ready. It's come to the day of trying to figure out if this thing's gonna fly. You know, it doesn't, can't turn. The only controls I have are on the back tails going up and down in the rudder. So hopefully it'll go up and then I can kind of maybe fly it in a loop. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's definitely going to crash. So, you know, with that being said, I give you the dirty chicken. So everything, you know, came from the house. There was nothing bought. It was, uh, servos from an old project I did and from a little remote control boat I had uh, batteries from the drones it's parchment paper wings the only thing I'm worried about is the PVC I have a, like a half inch PVC pipe as the thing and it's not very stiff and the weight it's gonna buckle a lot but uh, uh, hopefully it's enough to get it up in the air prop from one of our first helicopters these are Chinese food container wheels. Hanover's a Berlin uh, pretzel barrel, you know, ring to, for the stability of the, of the wheels. Bottle rocket uh, spars to going across to keep those together. And uh, yeah, pretty much everything was found here. I'm very curious to see if it's, gonna, if it's gonna fly. I actually don't know what it's gonna do. I have no idea. Ryan, what do you think? It's gonna crash. It's gonna, well, it's going to crash, but do you think it'll take off at all? I do, but I think it's gonna crash shortly after. Like how shortly? Two like, seconds? <laughs> One. Well, mistakes were made. And I guess that's life. You know, the uh, this whole thing kind of turned into bigger than just a little test of a plane. We went out there first time. She was on the wheels, took off. I think the balance was wrong, tipped over to the side, crashed. We had some filming issues with the family, which is another lesson. Don't, don't do that. We didn't record it. What do you mean? Why didn't you tell us? John was recording the no, whole time. He wasn't. <laughs> I said, can he go run around? You said no, and I said you have to leave. Um, I think the balance was off, but also I was using a big 14-inch kind of a, a paddle prop for rotors, for multi-rotors. And I thought maybe it overwhelmed the engine a little bit or, or draw the the most amount from the from the battery at first, and then it just didn't have enough to keep going. But now I'm thinking that it was just it's an old battery, but now I'm thinking it was just kind of uh, the center of gravity was off and just kind of lost lift there. Um, then we went up onto a hill and I thought maybe a 12 inch thinner, kind of more of like a airplane prop blade for a smaller would do better, spin faster, 
not use as much energy from the from the battery. Um, got that going, threw it, and it just didn't have enough to, to keep going. Uh, uh, the crash was not bad, so I could pick it up, dust it off, and try it a third time. Third time I used a sore wooden prop. I just had one with me and switched it out. Thought maybe this thing will just give some good air behind it with the with the battery that's left. Put it on, hand tossed it. Thing took off like a rocket. Took off like a rocket. Flew up and then just nose dived uh, into the ground and crashed. So, you know, it's really a story of persistence. Just just keep at it. The first crash, it kind of hit a chain link fence, messed up the the wing. Took it back. It's about 20 minutes. Hot glued everything back together. Got some more things going. And then went back to the park for this for the second time. Um, so you know, could have given up right there and had it just fly about 20 feet and then hit a hit a fence. But really, really thought this thing could get going. So uh, tried it again, failed. Uh, switched some things out and finally got it to got it to take off. So um, really excited about how it how it worked. Uh, really excited about the persistence. You know, it's a lesson that. Are you joking? Uh, you know, you can do with anything. Is you, you're not gonna. It might not always work on the first time, but if you keep at it, keep switching things up. Never give up. Never give up, and you'll get uh, some good results. So, uh, the homemade dirty, the dirty chicken is dead, but the experiment lives on, and I think it's, uh, I think it's a pretty cool thing to uh, you know pass the time, and it was fun.